Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. And this is going to be episode 2 of Silver Beast guys and this week round it is based around a brand new silver team of the week, Mr. Nikolai Valish. Our boy Nico cost me 15,000 coins. This man's original card is a bronze so he's in bronze pack method so there's quite a few on the market. So 15k is decent for silver in form. We're looking at 6 foot 2, high medium, right footed 3 star, 3 star. And the attributes themselves, he's got the pace, decent shooting stats. A bit of strength on his card, a bit of stamina, respectable agility, balance reactions a little bit on the low side, but I'm sure that won't affect him too much. He's even got a decent bit of strength being 83, and the only trait is a long shot take a CPU AI trait. You know what? This man is pretty much the left winger, the right footed version of this beast. Scott Olsen, the dump truck himself, six foot two, also left footed, three star, four star. Very, very similar card. This man does have probably better shooting stats though, to be fair and ridiculous finesse shots. But the team we are using for episode two of Silver Beast is a bit of a makeshift Denmark slash Syria slash Bundesliga German hybrid. It's a bit all over the place, but we do get every single player on full chemistry, minus this chat Lindstrom in the middle. But starting off in goal, we got Sipple, our two centre-backs, Klinter and Maxim Light, two absolutely rapid centre-backs, 87 and 86 pace on these boys. We've got Toljan at right back, 86 pace, and another 86 pace Raum at left back. So super quick defence, which is great to see. Moving up into the midfield, we got Lindstrom, probably the more attacking out of the three. He doesn't really offer too much apart from the pace and dribbling, that's essentially it. And a finesse shot trait and the flair, so you never know. Getting a strong link into Skov Olsen is Matthias Fanberg. Six foot one, it looks like a kind of box to box centre mid. Not really any stat stands out to me, but he does look pretty well rounded. And then the other side, this man's a bit of a hidden gem, I reckon. We got Morton Friendrup, he has a strong link into our boy Valish. And he looks uh, pretty respectable. He's got good pace, decent dribbling, defending, and uh, physical stats. He's, he's a solid player. And to finish up the team, we have got Mick. That's what I'm going to call him. I'm not even going to try and butcher this man's name. Also, six foot two, so we got a fair bit of height up front. Two star, four star. Lack of skill moves a little bit disappointing, but this man probably is the best option in the Danish league to get everyone on full chemistry. He's got decent pace, decent shooting. I'm sure he's going to be all right. And let's not forget, fist bumps all round. Our boys are team player. But that is the team we're going to be rocking in today's episode. Last week round, Silver Beast number one, out of bio Akin Fenwood, the strongest man in FIFA, managed to clutch out three wins out of five. So nine points that he has sat on. Let's see if our boy Nico can beat that. So the way this series works is we hop into five Silver Lounge matches. One win equals three points. We tally up the points at the end of it and to see who sits at the top of the leaderboard. Game number one with the boys, what are we up against? 100 chemistry, a full Premier League side. Eddie and Ketia, Dennis, some decent looking cards there. Let's see if we can get the W. Let's get the big man on the ball straight away. Nico Valish. Go on, Nico. Use that pace, lad. You've got plenty of it. Right footed as well, so we're definitely going to cut in and whip a cheeky finesse shot. Worth the effort. Go on, Elendstrom. Lead the charge. We've got boys making the overlap. Valish is in a ton of space. Nico, that is a lovely bit of movement off the ball. Ooh. Oh, that last little interception for Lamptey. I probably could have taken the shot, to be fair, boys. Well in. Come on the boys, we're playing for the badge right now. Nico's in so much space if we could pick him. Finesse that. Off the bar. You're taking the mickey. We started strong though. This team, the midfield feels really solid. The passing's incredible. Nico, little ball roll, cut it on his left. And it's off the line. Are we ever going to get a goal with this man? Go on Nico. Little give and go here. Use your pace now. Use your pace lad. Shake and bake. Come on, Nico. He's blitzing and we've got a man in the middle. And there it is. There is the goal. Happy day. And are we getting a 1 0 race quick to start things off? We are. Let's get the ball rolling. Three points in the bag for the Denmark boys. We'll take it. So, game number two, what are we up against? 97 chemistry, some awesome looking cards there. And Teka Sulemana. I recognize the centre back, the Denmark centre back, not Denmark, uh, Netherlands centre half. Teze, I believe it is. Over the top. He's definitely got the pace. Keepers come in. Beat him with a dink. It's the most unnecessary, the Canio volley. But it goes in. So we're happy about it. Nico gets the first goal for the club. Needs a bit of play. High line for my opponent. We're going to utilise that as much as we can in this game. But that is the start we need, boys. We're on the road to six points early doors here. Oh, 
Oh boys, it's beautiful football. It's beautiful football and Skov bags it. We are running riot right now. The Danish boys, Skov. Oh, hold up. And I don't got. Oh, that's a fantastic pick out, boys. It's a beautiful goal for the lads. It's Nico's second. That through ball was beautiful. And a 4-0 rage quit in game number two. Could we have started any better than this, boys? Two rage quits early doors. Four goals scored in that one. Nico gets himself a nice two finishes as well. Don't know what's going on with the LDA service here, but let's get in to game number three. Okay, 100 chemistry. A bit of a Zardes, Quintero, Latif Blessing in the middle of the park there. The MLS Silver Boys. I mean, I know them quite well because maybe, just maybe, they're going to be in the next Silver Beast episode. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of space. Oh, the boys. Well defended. Let's move now, boys. Come on, counter attack time. Let's get this goal. Oh, that's a fantastic ball. We're in trouble. Keeper. Is he saved it? Is he just put it wide? Oh, he's a save. Well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> Oh, boys, he's played... Oh, fair play, fair play. I've got to put my hands up. Absolutely sold me a dream now. Thought he was going the other way. But Suleimana gets the goal. And for the first time in this episode, we're a goal down. Oh, that's a great ball. Skov, if you can make that. Cut in on the left. Rebounds! He almost put it wide, but Nico gets the goal. A cheeky little rebound. We'll take it. Back level. Lights, that's beautiful. Come on now, boys. Let's dig in deep. My opponent's a decent player. He's playing some nice football around me. But we're going to bag it. Okay, I wasn't... No, I was not expecting that to go in. Mickey himself. Mickey has just scored an absolute screamer. I don't know if I green-timed it, but off the bar and in, it looked like an absolute rocket. We're not getting a replay. That's fine. We'll go back afterwards. But we got the comeback. 2-1 up, boys. Oh, Nico. Oh, Nico. Into Skov. Makes it free. The link up play from the two dump truck Danes. Oh, that's a lovely bit of play. Great goal, to be fair to him. Kept the ball well, kept composed. And Sergio Santos with the goal. Just as I thought I was getting away with it, boys. 3 1 up. He's pulled one back. Oh, boys. There's so much space. And a real block. Was that Maxim Light throwing his life on the line to make that interception? My opponent is all over me right now, boys. Need to weather the storm. And try not to concede. Well done. Nico, that is a beautiful turn. Little through ball on a sixpence for Lindstrom. <laughs> Don't know what he's done with that. Well, Red. Come on, boys. One more goal. We'll see this. Nico's in so much space. Sandberg, that is a pick out. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. <laughs> I could have just passed it across and got the tap in. But we went for glory with Nico and we win the penalty. And of course, Nico is going to be on this. 74 pens for the man. Still with the ice. We're going to the right, but really we're going to the left, lads. Ice in the veins. Oh, we'll have another. Why not? Oh! Oh, we're in again, boys. We are in again. We're in again for the lads. Let's get it for the boys. 6-2. I'm pretty certain that's a hat-trick for Nico, or maybe four goals. I don't know. It got a little bit out of control at the end, but most importantly, that is another three points, and we are now joint on points with Akademus team. Can we make it four for four? What is the team in our way? 100 chemistry. Austrian Bundesliga? Is that Noah Okafor at right mid? I respect it. It's a bit unique, but hopefully it's, uh, it's going to be a bit of a walk in the park for the Danish boys. So nil nil at half time. I'm not sure how much of that you would have seen, guys. My opponent's not had a single shot. I've had eight. I don't know why it's saying I'm not. I don't know what's happened. It's all glitched out. My team's underclass. I've had eight shots. I kid you not, though. Every single shot has been blocked. It's been an absolute nightmare. So I've probably not left a lot of clips in there. But we keep on going. Go on, Liko. Time that run. Use the pace. Use the pace. After burners. Lovely bit of play. Get it to Skov. 
Swivel! And there it is. Finally, we get the breakthrough. Much needed goal, Scott Olsen. Left foot cannon finds the back of the net. Nice bit of play for Nico as well. The Danish lads having a bit of success. And it's the ever reliable Scobby boy with the goal. Boys, boys, what are these deflections? Ah, oh, boys, it's not looking good. We may be losing our first game of the episode. Scob Olsen gets a goal for my opponent. I'm going to have to make some subs. I need a bit of inspiration in the middle of the park, I reckon. I think Leun's going to come on for Spamberg. We're going to push Nico up top. And then we're also going to bring on a bit of Sulemana and, uh, and Tekka Magic. Fingers crossed this could inspire something and we can get that equaliser. Lovely bit of hold-up play. Sulemana has the pace, you know. Cross goal. It's a big save from the keeper. I don't know why he took an extra touch there, but the press is on. We've got bodies forward. And that's another unreal save. Oh, that's a great play. Great bit of play. Fair play to him. Decent opponent. He's absolutely annihilated me in the second half. He had like a, such a, a basic silver team at the start. He ends up bringing on Skov Olsen, Leon and Sulemana. And they just absolutely tore me apart. So we end up taking the L 3-1 in game number four. Let's get on to the last match. So the fifth and final game to overtake the big man himself, uh, Akin Fenwa. It's a nice looking little setup. I'm not going to lie to you boys. We need a W here. Nice bounce back from the boys. Nico needs back in the goals. Let's see what we can do. Boys, good bit defending. Come on now. Come on now. There's a lot of space in behind. Look at Nico. That is fantastic. Decent touch. Run into the space, Nico. This is your chance. And he takes it. Big 1 0 lead. Oh, that's a finish. Fashion Sakala. Ah, oh, the man I thought who was going to be the silver star gets the goal and probably a future silver beast himself. And we find ourselves level. <sighs> oh, some power behind that shot. Keeper's on an absolute mad one for my opponent right now, boys. We're going into the half at 2-1 down. Hey, Nico with the goal. Just like that, we made a couple of changes. Sulemana comes on. Nico goes up front and we pull it level. Go on, Sulemana. Sulemana, that is beautiful, lad. That's beautiful as well. Nico through the legs, and he gets the goal. Unreal comeback, boys. 2-1 down, 3-2 up. We're clutching up big for the last game points. Go on, Skov. Powerhouse. Have a bit of that for the finish. The man's left foot's ridiculous, boys. We make it 4-2. Big W, I think. So 4-2 is how it ends, guys, which means four wins out of the five for Team Nico. A decent performance, some sweaty opponents. This man was pretty damn good. Same with the guy we played in the game beforehand. But we'll take the 12 points in total. And that is where we're going to end it, guys. So get down in the comment section. Let me know who you want to see next in a future episode of Silver Beast. Overall, Valish, Nico himself gets the four out of five. Decent performance from the Danish boys. Here's to the next one. Anyway, guys, I'll be more. See you until next time. Take it easy.